back to the class. And uh, right here, do you guys see that we have one more word form left for the word account? That is account form, a verb in English. In, instead of saying, this is a reason for me to do something, for me to do that, you can use the word account form as an action verb. So right now, here I go with my example. I guess uh, people these days are, are very lazy in fact, due to the convenience of technology and the intelligence of human beings. We have a very common saying, the more intelligent we are, the lazier we are going to become. Because did you know that the gifted, the gifted are always the laziest people. Once we are lazy, we can think of so many ways to solve the problem. For example, you are you are lying on the bed. You want to get the phone. For normal people, they will get up. They will get up, they will stand on their feet, they will reach out their hand, their arm, and they will use their hand to get the phone. But for lazy people, especially smart people, they still want to lie on the bed, but they will figure out some other ways, abnormal ways to get the phone. They are going to use their, their, their leg, okay, their leg. They reach out their leg, they use their, they, 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 they use their foot to get the phone onto the bed, or they are going to use a pillow, a very long pillow to, to reach out the phone and get the phone, okay, sweep the phone from the table to the bed. So that is the, that is the, the, the way of, of uh, the smart people. So people, lazy, people who are lazy are usually intelligent. And uh, the laziness, laziness, accounts for laziness, accounts for, accounts for marvelous invention. We will say that we don't want to study. Yeah, that is what students say these days because lots of studying, because of the tightest schedule from school, no time for love, no time for friendships, no time for hanging out, no time for self relaxation even. So lazy, Laziness accounts for marvelous inventions in students' life. That is, if I am if I am a student and I am lazy, I'm going to use I'm, I'm going I'm going to use a laptop instead of instead of uh, instead of notebook and pens. And uh, whenever I try to think of ideas or notions for for my math math or for an essay, I'm going to listen to music or watch or watch anything on TV, watch anything on, on Netflix, watch anything on YouTube, because we need to hear some, we need to hear people speaking so that we can get every sense of, okay, things around us. If we get the sense, if we get the sense of everything existing around us, we are going to feel more alive. And the more we feel, and the more alive we feel, the, 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 the fresher we are going to feel deep inside. So I can say that laziness accounts for marvelous inventions or marvelous actions. That is my example for the word account for. So right now, whenever you want to say that this is a reason for something, please try to use the action verb account for. Whenever you want to say for no reasons, I just do it for no reasons. Don't use the word for no reasons don't think of the word reason anymore try to think of the word account instead so right now please try to think of a situation on the word account for i'm going to give you guys like five minutes the last word in in the class is going to is going to get only five minutes for preparation so right now setting the timer one two three right here Mute the mic.
Hands up. Anyone? Hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um, okay. So, I will give my um, my situation is the on no account. So, yeah, let's start on my situation. So, like as um, we have the general point that is we sometimes we can get like our mood is getting bad for no reason. It's just like our mood is getting down on one day. After, uh, after we after we wake up, uh, it will it will happen when we get free time after a long day with working. Uh, like this is um, this is oh. Uh, wait. My, can I prepare my ideas again? Sorry. Yeah, sure, sure, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. then what? No worries. Yeah, thank you. Yes. So when we are waiting for men, again, anybody else has any ideas for the last minutes of the class? No, I don't have any ideas for this work. Okay, so what about Tim? Do you have any ideas for for these two vocabularies or Tongwen? Do you have any ideas? Um, can you give me one sec? Well, okay. <laughs> so right now, okay, five moments that uh, four moments for for the class. Let's wait. Let's wait. Uh for five more minutes in order for us to get any hints. Hello? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Just want to ask, uh, do you hear any noise from the car today? <laughs> uh, just a little bit, but it's okay for me to, to get what you say. It's okay. Uh, I just think of uh, an example for count four. Uh, so I guess when shine people or like uh, self Process. I don't know, I just look for the, the synonym of the, the word shine and I found it. I hope it is the, the same meaning for shine, self conscious. So, self conscious people, when they have to face uh, accusement from, from the crown, like uh, when many people point at them and accuse them of some kind of uh, bad behavior or uh, like crime, but they don't have anything to say because it's just so shy, it's so like, uh, so scared to say anything. So they they have no word uh, when they need to account for their, their how was I gonna say it? Their, you know, their, 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 that, 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 that is the purity. Pure, ah, I, I yeah. 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 I thought the purity is so useful water. I don't know. So that is uh, my example. Okay, so this is this kind of this is kind of weird for us to come together today. This is the very first day of uh, the whole group together, okay? We, we have so many students in the group, but we eliminate so many students from the group, okay? Yeah, so right now, right now we have the, we have the right people for the group. All together, we can get everything in English back. Three more means for the class. Anybody else has anything new to share? Um, me. Yeah. Yes, yes, please share, Min. Okay, so after wake up or sometimes after a long day studying on my school, when I have free time, because it just going back, it just got come, come back to my home. My mood, my mood is getting down from on no account. Um, and in my opinion, this feeling just like rabbits. Uh, sometimes maybe we don't have 
anything to do are uh, just boring and then that and then the feelings the the bad the, the bad mood has 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 born for no reason um that for me that's a kind of negative feelings because when i have when i just been in that situation i cannot do anything because uh, i feel like i don't have any in feel, i don't have any emotion to do anything else like my homework at school uh, my homework at school or my or the housework because sometimes because when i be in that be in that situation on my head just thinking about like it's free <laughs> no it's not free like there's nothing in my head and it makes me feel negative because it makes me like get lost on what i are what, what i am doing now you know like um don't like i just get in lost of my mind and i don't know what i what i am doing right now is right or wrong and i didn't have any decision for my for my future how um, luckily it just a uh, feelings for maybe for a um, for night and after and um in the next morning everything is gonna be all right everything is all right yeah that's all about my example oh, very, yeah very good man yeah it's it's it's, it's very it's, it's it's very good and bad so um, it's kind of it's kind of it's, it's, it's kind of you you try to you try to pull the you try to pull everything happening in your life at school into the situation making of the words, the English words that we study together, this is very good because what I want is like this. We just try to pull all kinds of strings in our life into the sense of language, which is linguistic sense. That is what I want from you guys. Thank you so much for joining the class today. Have a nice evening and see you guys again on Friday. Bye-bye guys. Bye, teacher. Bye, uh, see you.